William Batchelder Green April 4, 1819, to May 30, 1878, was a 19th-century individualist anarchist, Unitarian minister, soldier and promoter of free banking in the United States. Biography <inaudible> 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 Born in Haverhill, Massachusetts, Green was the son of the Democratic journalist and Boston postmaster Nathaniel Green. He was appointed to the United States Military Academy from Massachusetts in 1835, but he left before graduation. He was made second lieutenant in the 7th Infantry in July 1839 and after serving in the Second Seminole War resigned in November 1841. Subsequently, he was connected with George Ripley's utopian movement at Brook Farm, after which he met several transcendentalists including Orestes Brownson, Elizabeth Peabody and Ralph Waldo Emerson. He studied theology at Harvard Divinity School, graduating in 1845. He was a pastor at a Unitarian church in Brookfield, Massachusetts before leaving to Europe, Green returned in 1861 to serve in the American Civil War. Although a Democrat, he was a strong abolitionist and at the beginning of the Civil War became colonel of the 14th Massachusetts Infantry, afterward the 1st Massachusetts Heavy Artillery. In 1862, while stationed with his regiment in Fairfax, Virginia he was recalled and assigned by General George McClellan to the command of an artillery brigade in General Emil Weeks Whipple's division. He resigned his commission in October 1862 to continue his travels and writings. According to James J. Martin in Men Against the State, Green did not become a full-fledged anarchist until the last decade of his life, but his writings show that by 1850 he had articulated a Christian mutualism, drawing heavily on the writings of Pierre-Joseph Proudhon's sometimes antagonist Pierre Leroux see Equality, 1849 and Mutual Banking, 1850, writing in The Radical Deficiency of Existing Circulating Medium 1857, the existing organization of credit is the daughter of hard money, begotten upon it incestuously by that insufficiency of circulating medium which results from laws making specie the sole legal tender. The immediate consequences of confused credit are want of confidence, loss of time, commercial frauds, fruitless and repeated applications for payment, complicated with irregular and ruinous expanses. The ultimate consequences are compositions, bad debts, expensive accommodation loans, law suits, insolvency, bankruptcy, separation of classes, hostility, hunger, extravagance, distress, riots, civil war, and, finally, revolution. The natural consequences of mutual banking are, first of all, the creation of order, and the definitive establishment of due organization in the social body, and, ultimately, the cure of all the evils, which flow from the present incoherence and disruption in the relations of production and commerce. In his radical, anonymously published pamphlet Equality, Green had this to say about equality before the law. It is right that persons should be equal before the law, but when we have established equality before the law, our work is but half done. We ought to have equal laws also." His comments were directed towards the creation of corporations. Green was a fine mathematician and was versed in Hebrew literature and in Hebrew and Egyptian antiquities. Topic. Mutual banking Green is best known for the works Mutual Banking which proposed an interest-free banking system, and Transcendentalism, a critique of the New England philosophical school. In 1850 and 1851, he organized citizens of Brookfield, Warren and Ware, Massachusetts to petition the state's general court for a charter to establish a mutual bank. 
Upon all the petitions and after hearing the arguments of the petitioners, the Committee on Banks and Banking reported simply, "...leave to withdraw." The radical deficiency of the existing circulating medium, 1857. Similar attempts by the New England Labor Reform League in the 1870s met with similar results. Green's mutualist banking ideas resembled those of Pierre Joseph Proudhon as well as the land banks of the colonial period. He had an important influence on Benjamin Tucker, the editor of the anarchist journal Liberty. Topic: Death. Green spent his final days in Somerset, England. His remains were transported to Boston to be buried at Forest Hills, Roxbury, Jamaica Plain. Topic: Noted works. Mutual banking. Boston, New England Labor Reform League, 1870. Remarks on the Science of History, followed by an a priori autobiography, 1849. Equality. West Brookfield, Mass., O.S. Cook, 1849. Mutual Banking. West Brookfield, Mass., O.S. Cook, 1850. Sovereignty of the People, Pamphlet Boston, 1863. Hayward, Ezra and William B. Green. Declaration of Sentiments and Constitution of the New England Labor Reform League. Boston, Weekly American Workman, 1869. Explanations of the Theory of the Calculus, Pamphlet 1870. Transcendentalism, Pamphlet 1870. Theory of the Calculus 1870. The Facts of Consciousness and the Philosophy of Mr. Herbert Spencer, Pamphlet 1871. The Blazing Star, with an appendix treating of the Jewish Kabbalah. Also, a tract on the philosophy of Mr. Herbert Spencer and one on New England Transcendentalism. Boston, A. William & Co., 1872. The Working Woman, A Letter to the Rev. Henry W. Foote, Minister of King's Chapel, in Vindication of the Poorer Class of the Boston Working Women. Princeton, Mass., Cooperative Pub. Co. 1873. Socialistic, Communistic, Mutualistic, and Financial Fragments 1875. International Address, an elaborate, comprehensive, and very entertaining exposition of the principles of the Working People's International Association. See also Free banking Individualist anarchism in the United States Mutualism Topic. Further reading In French Ronald Cray 1983. Lanarchisme aux états unis 1826–1896. Col. Etudes Anglo-Americaines. Pre. Klinksiak. ISBN 2864600234. Cray, Chapter 8. William B. Green A Les Origins du Mouvement Anarchiste dans le Massachusetts. pp. 343-398.